This is Twit. Ahmad Kayat from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, said, Hello, Steve. Instead of synchronizing pass keys, isn't it more secure to have a pass key per device locked into that device's TPM or equivalent facility? Instead of backing up pass keys, have backup pass keys on additional devices. Moreover, it's provably more feasible to convince, I'm sorry, probably more feasible to convince sites to support multiple pass keys per user than to convince Google, Apple, and Microsoft to support pass key portability. I completely agree with that latter. The big problem here is that there's no way to know which sites support multiple pass keys and which don't. You know, you're you're just going to try to uh, to associate another passkey with a site from a different device and the device says, sorry, you already got one. Uh, use that one. But you can't because it's on a device you're not using right now. The passkeys spec states that passkey supporting sites should provide many to one passkeys to account mappings. But as we know today, not all do, and it only takes one to ruin your lunch. And running into a site that doesn't means that the user cannot add another device to that site, which is a breakdown of the pass keys promise. Hopefully, this will eventually change. But it's also true that having Apple, Google, and Microsoft performing their own cross-device synchronization of pass keys, just as they've always done for passwords, takes the pressure off of sites to improve their pass keys implementations. Because, right, works for everybody using Apple, Google, and Microsoft. What's wrong with you? So for the time being, the only practical solution is to either... Have that be your your complete and total solution. Remain within one of the closed ecosystems, which is provided by the big three, or use a third-party password manager, such as 1Password or Bitwarden, both sponsors of the Twit network, which will provide the kind of cross-platform compatibility that Passkeys was intended to provide, but doesn't yet universally and it and passkeys was intended to provide it the right way by by having sites provide a many to one passkeys to account mapping then giving the user a user interface where they could see all of the passkeys which are currently registered on their account and administrate them you know say yes and no to various passkeys, you know, like remove passkeys for devices they're no longer using or don't want or have given a device to a family member, but they shouldn't have access to the family's banking site because, you know, they're not old enough yet and so forth. Anyway, we don't have that, unfortunately. We can hope that we get that moving forward. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. <laughs>